What is it about the Negro? I mean, every other group that came as an immigrant somehow, not easily, but somehow got around it. Is it just the fact that Negroes are black? White America must see that no other ethnic group has been a slave on American soil. Uh, that is one thing that other immigrant groups haven't had to face. The other thing is that the color became a stigma. American society made the Negroes' color a stigma. America freed the slaves in 19, I mean 1863 through the Emancipation Proclamation of Abraham Lincoln, but gave the slaves no land on nothing in reality, and as a matter of fact, to, to get started on. At the same time, America was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that there was a willingness to give the white peasants from Europe an economic base. And yet it refused to give its black peasants from Africa who came here involuntarily in chains and had worked free for 244 years any kind of economic base. And so emancipation for the Negro was really freedom to hunger. It was freedom uh, to the winds and rains of heaven. It was freedom without food to eat or land to cultivate, and therefore it was freedom and famine at the same time. And when white Americans tell the Negro to lift himself by his own bootstraps, they don't, o they don't look over the legacy of slavery and segregation. I believe we ought to do all we can and seek to lift ourselves by our own bootstraps. But uh, it's a cruel jest to say to a bootless man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. And many Negroes, by the thousands and millions, have been left bootless as a result of all of these years of oppression and as a result of a society that deliberately made his color a stigma and something worthless and degrading. I think what you're trying to ask is, uh, why am I so insistent upon giving out to them that blackness, that black power, that black pushing them to identify with uh, 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 black culture? I think that's what you're asking. If, if I have no choice over it in the first place, to me, we are the most beautiful creatures in the whole world, black people. I mean, and I mean that in every every sense, uh, outside and inside. And to me, we have a culture that uh, is surpassed by, by 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 no other civilization, but we don't know anything about it. So again, I think I've said this before in the same interview. I think uh, at some time before, my my job is to somehow make them curious enough or persuade them by hook or crook to get more aware of themselves and where they came from and what they are into and what is already there and just to bring it out. This is what compels me to compel them. And I will do it by whatever means necessary. We are choosing hope over fear. And sending a powerful message that change is coming to America. We're now in 2021, and we have the pandemic, the insurrection, uh, racial reckoning. A lot of people feel like they've lost hope. Mm -hmm. How how can people get that hope back? You get hope back from, for me at least, taking the long view and recognizing that resilience, uh, determination, the ability to deal with setbacks and disappointments, and keep going. Uh, yeah, that those are qualities that um, can carry us forward, and, and no one has exhibited that more historically in this country than uh, African Americans. Juneteenth in Texas. Some of you may wonder, what exactly is that? Well, it commemorates June 19, 1865, when Union Army General Gordon Granger stood on the balcony of the Ashton Villa in Galveston and said in part, in accordance with a proclamation, all slaves are free. He was referring to President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation, 
that was issued in January of 1863. So why did it take so long for word to reach slaves in Texas? Texas, remember, was part of the Confederacy and the war didn't end until April of 1865. So until the Union Army arrived in Galveston two months later, slaves there weren't aware of the proclamation. And until the war was over, the proclamation was meaningless. In 1866, former Texas slaves began celebrating Juneteenth, also known as Freedom Day, a celebration that continues to this very day.